guys, it's Joel here, aka Gallup, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is a South Korean clothing haul. This is one of my favorite things to do here on my channel, mainly because I love, I'm obsessed with South Korean style, especially the style in Seoul. I went to Seoul a few years ago now, and I'm desperate to go back. It's literally one of my favorite places in the world. So you can imagine how happy I was when my delivery from this brand came through. I ordered like quite a lot of pieces, mainly because it's quite affordable. Um, I think there's like 12 pieces in total thereabouts. You know, one pair of jeans didn't fit, so I won't be showing you those. <laughs> If this is your first video of mine and you haven't yet subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe. That would literally mean the world to me and, and thank you to everyone who subscribed and is watching already. So I'm going to run you through all the pieces that I picked up. They're all from a brand called Hi-Fi FNK. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, that's just how I've been saying it. I've stalked them on Instagram for a long time, decided to make the leap to kind of order. I'll just tell you the ordering process at the end once I run through the pieces. As always, ordering from Korean sites can be a little bit tricky sometimes, so but I will give you the lowdown on how I did it exactly. As usual, all the pieces are linked below. I'll I'll leave a link to their Instagram page as well. This is not sponsored by them in any way, shape, or form. I literally just ordered clothes and I'm just going to show you them because I like them so much. Also, by the way, um, most of the stuff probably isn't ironed, so if it's creased or whatever, I apologize, but I'm just going to have to deal with it. First piece that I'm going to show you actually reminds me of my Balenciaga t shirt um, in, a, in a way. It's not exactly the same, but it's a large blue t shirt as such. And it just says California on it and kind of sunset a gradient from yellow to orange and it says in. So it's California in the USA. Um, but I just saw this on the website and I really, really liked it. Thought it was awesome. Um, a lot of things are available only in one size. So I got this in one size and I'm six foot two, about 100, oh, I'm not six foot two. I'm six foot one, about 183, 184 centimeters. And um, it fits great on me, kind of oversized. So if you're smaller than me, it would be even more oversized on you. As I said a few videos ago, a bit obsessed with blue at the moment. I think this is a really nice purple color. As I said in my last video, I'm heading to LA in August, so I thought this would be perfect to wear in LA. This is 20,000, no, this was 21,000 Korean won, which is just over 14 pounds, so quite good, right? I see you different You ain't like the mother one I see you differently I turned the contrast down a little bit because I felt like I was super, super pale. I know I am quite pale anyway, but I just felt it was more pale than usual. Um, anyway, the next piece, if you follow me on Instagram or you read my blog, then you will have seen this shirt already. This shirt is called the Star Half Shirt. I've had a bit of a thing for short sleeve, kind of um, revert collar bowling shirt um, as of late, especially printed ones. Um, and I thought this was awesome. I saw this on the website and was like, this is really, really cool. It's not like a generic one that you got. I've got a few, I've got a few more different patterns within this haul kind of thing as well and I've got I've got a few others that I got from ASOS as well um, but yeah really into these at the moment because you wear them in so many different ways and they're so good for like a walk to a festival I've worn it out to dinner I've gone on nights out wearing one and stuff like that they're just really really handy so this is the star half shirt yeah it's like revere color kind of bowling shirt printed with like two stars clashing all over it white on the background and it's got like navy and red stars all over it um, I just thought it was a really cool pattern so again this is one size only um, it's 38,000 Korean one which brings it to around 25 pounds which again for a really nice shirt, it's not that bad. So yeah, I will show you what this looks like on. In real life, this is so creased. I don't know if you can see how creased it is on here because it's so stripy. Just a stripy t-shirt, really nice details. It's like drop shouldered. Collar actually comes quite high, kind of like this raft t-shirt in the sense that the collar is like, this is available only in one size. Anyway, the pages for, for this one and one other product, but I don't know which one, aren't loading. So I can't really tell you how much it was, but it wasn't that expensive at all. Um, I will put the link still, but I don't know if it'll work because this might be sold out, let me see. Um, and I will show you what it looks like on. Also, I just realized I'm showing all these clothes on hangers and I must be triggering everyone that hates seeing clothes on hangers. So, sorry about that. This, I don't know why I was so obsessed with this, but I saw this a while ago on the site and took into a pair of jeans with a bell and I was like, that hard rock tee, I really, really like it. I can't tell you the exact reason why. 
Um, but yeah, it's this Hard Rock Cafe Dallas, which is even cooler, Dallas, Texas. Um, yeah, it's just an oversized Hard Rock Cafe t-shirt, nothing crazy special. Again, only available in one size and one colour. Um, 28,000 Korean won, which is the equivalent of the equivalent of around 20 pounds. I just thought it was um, really nice and kind of understated. All I'm thinking about is LA. I'm literally so excited. If you guys have any suggestions of anywhere to go, I just wanted a load of like really easy stuff that I could throw on um, and still feel really comfortable and confident in what I'm wearing. Um, and I thought this was sick. So yeah, I'll show you what this looks like on. Okay, there's no hanger for this one, so everyone can like chill out for a second. Um, it's a pair of denim, it's a pair of denim jeans, um, black. They are cropped um, and like raw hem along the bottom. You can't really tell on this, you'll probably be able to tell better when I put them on. Um, and they have like knee slashes as well, so cropped with knee slashes. And they're quite a kind of, not super thick, but quite a thicker denim than, let's say, like Top Man or ASOS and stuff like that. They are called the Seven Black Jeans on the Hi Fi FNK website. I got them in a size medium and I'm a 32 waist, but they literally have measurements for everything that's on there because I ordered another pair of jeans in a medium as well and they did not fit me at all, whereas these ones did. Um, so be wary on the sizing of denim or be wary on the sizing of everything really because they have measurements for like literally all of it. So you should just me get a little tape measure measure against yourself just to check that it would fit before you order it. It takes quite a long time to arrive and you end up like spending quite a lot of money on shipping and stuff like that. So you just need to be sure before you order it but obviously my other jeans didn't fit. It can be safe but never so. But yeah no I really really like these things they're awesome and there's nothing like this on sale in like Top Man, ASOS, River Island um, and I just wish that they would bring out like crop ripped denim because it's so easy to do for them especially but they're so slow, they're probably going to bring out loads of crop denim like within a few months time or the start of next summer or something. I've noticed like Zara has some like crop denim or like um, H&M also had some had some kind of like asymmetric hem denim as well, kind of like the Vetmont style. Um, so it's slowly creeping in, it's just going to take a while. Yeah, I really really like these and I will show you what they look like on. Now the next piece is a little bit out of my comfort zone. I said this about a weekday polo top that I got a few weeks ago, um, and then this one is called this one is called the Armen Stripe Polo Top, like A M E N. Um, it is actually a little bit short on me um, because these pieces are mainly unisex as well. It's not super oversized, um, but I do really like the idea of it, and I do think I'm going to have a go with it. Like a really fine knit, and um, there's no button here. Like this is just left open, um, and then it has a black kind of band at the bottom and on the cuffs of the sleeves. It's Thirty-three thousand one, which brings it to like twenty-two pounds, which isn't bad for a fine knit kind of polo top but yeah I wish it was like more oversized um, and bigger but what can you do in one size only and I will show you what it looks like on now the next piece is probably one of my favourite pieces out of everything. Um, I was going to save it to the last but I was like, well, I'll just show it you guys now because I couldn't wait any longer. Um, it's called the Saint Rider Jacket. Um, I was a little bit disappointed when it came in real life because it wasn't as oversized as I thought it would be. I guess this is just me being a lot bigger in terms of shape and size compared to skinny Korean guys or skinny Korean girls. Um, it is a bit more expensive, so it's 85,000 Korean won, which is around £57, but still for like a photo leather jacket is not that bad. One thing, it did smell quite funny. It did smell really funny when it came out of the packet because it is that kind of faux leather. Um, that smell has kind of gone now because we let it air out for a few days. But basically on the website it looked really oversized, um, kind of like Vetmont style. And I was like, oh, that'll be really, really sick, especially for like going on nights out or going to festivals. Um, which is all I seem to do at the moment. But me being such a giant, um, when I put it on, it's not actually that big, but I do actually really like the fit of it. Um, it's more of like a fitted biker jacket now rather than an oversized one. But if I could get this in like an XXL, that'd be great. This is a large, this is the biggest that they went. Um, but I am still really happy with it. In terms of like a slouchy kind of leather biker jacket, it's just like no fuss. And I, I am actually quite happy with how it looks on me, but um, you guys let me know what you think as well of the sizing of the biker jacket. I felt like it could do with being a bit bigger, but I'm obsessed with oversized stuff and I know a lot of people aren't. Um, so yeah, it'd be great to hear your thoughts on this and I will show you what it looks like on. Can't take this pressure Can't take this distance away from you Yeah You save me feel no way I tell you ain't no question Just send the cues my way 
call the night in the west. This one actually isn't like a revere collar shirt, it's just a shirt. There's no kind of folds or pleats here to make this bit stick out. Um, so it's just more of a regular shirt, but it is um, drop shoulder and it is quite oversized, just black and white stripe. Thought this was really, really cool, especially throw over like a black t-shirt or something like that, or tuck it into a belt. It's like 36,000 Korean won, which I believe is just below 25 pounds, um, which I think is a decent price. Again, one size only, but fits me perfectly, like an oversized kind of shirt. Um, so yeah, I will show you what this looks like on. See you different. This is the Dia stripe shirt, again like DIA, this is like the last one, but this is a Revere collar version, um, kind of like the last one, but this is like pink and blue, I just thought I'd change it up in terms of colours and see what this looks like on. Um, this I believe is the same as last one, like 36,000 green one, which, which comes to just under £25, um, one size only and I will show you what it looks like on. Can't take this pressure, can't take this distance away from Okay, the product page for this um, piece isn't coming up anymore, so I don't know where that's gone, um, which is quite unfortunate. But basically, it is a like kind of dusty pink shirt, more of like a salmon, more of like a really, really dull salmon shirt, um, which seems quite basic and plain, but then it has on this sleeve a cheeky bit of embroidery which really really caught my eye and it says time is money I'll show you a close-up of this as well um, but I just thought that was really really nice and again to like just wear open over a t-shirt and jeans and trainers or like even smarter shoes or something like that so um, I will show you what it looks like on start and watch go temp is rising temp is tidying up tell me it's your town of war temp is rising solar power the last piece is so out of my comfort zone, like I did not expect that I would buy this. Um, it's a blazer. It's like a really thin blazer. I think I've been hanging around with Miko for too long because I saw it and I was like, I would actually quite like to try that only because I get invited to some like smarter events sometimes and sometimes when you're wearing a hoodie and ripped jeans and trainers and, it's, and everyone else is in suits. It's not that you feel like you should be wearing a suit, you just feel a little bit scruffy. Um, and I thought this was like a really cool alternative to wearing kind of suits or blazers or whatever this is this is still a blazer but it's really really relaxed in terms of the way it fits like the silhouette and stuff like that you probably can't see much right now but when i show it you on body it also comes with a giant hoop we you know how much i love a hoop the actual fit of it it's got quite low shoulders um it's really relaxed it's like relaxed tailoring it's not like a proper blazer or a proper suit jacket or anything like that. So and this was a little bit expensive. This was 63,000 Korean won, which I think brings it out to around 42 quid. They do it, they do it in a few different colorways, um, but only one size, and I will show you what it looks like on. Obviously I've shopped at a few um, South Korean online stores before, like Nen's Official and Buy The R, um, and now Hi-Fi FNK. If there's any you'd like me to try out, leave them in the description below because I'm quite confident in ordering from other countries online. And I've got quite a few connections, like my Korean friend um, Blavna, I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but on Instagram actually helped me with that, so, so big shout out to him. So if there's any that you want me to test, or if you just want to chat about South Korean clothing stores, then just let's start a discussion in the comments below, um, and I'll see you there. So they are my pieces from Hi-Fi FNK, and my South Korean haul coming to an end. Um, I'd love to know which your favourite piece was from all of those. It's really nice to have a breath of fresh air in terms of clothing and kind of redo your wardrobe a bit. I took loads of stuff to the charity shop this week, like three bags full of just stuff that I, ha I don't really wear anymore or, you know, I think could go to a better home. Um, I give everything to the RSPCA um, here in North East London. So if you fancy going on a shopping trip, I don't know where they take the clothes to, but people on Snapchat kept asking me like where, which shop is this going to and stuff. And it's like, I don't know. Because the shop that I actually donate to, they never actually sell any men's clothes, so they must transport all the menswear somewhere else. But there are some pretty nice pieces in some charity shops around North East London. Yeah, and ordering. So the ordering process for Hi-Fi FNK. See, I ordered, um, 
I try to do as the website says, there's a little bit that says like worldwide, worldwide shipping, um, email this email address here. So if you go in the description box and click on the link to the website um, and basically get all the products up that you would like to purchase. And then what you do is you put, what I did was put all the links to what I wanted, um, the size and the color. Um, next to it, kind of in brackets, next to the link. Um, and then you send it all to this email address that's on the website. I don't want to say it in the video because um, this email address might change in the future, but if you surely if you go to their website, it will say it. Um, it says like at the bottom, like worldwide shipping or for contact inquir inquiries, email this email address. So you can probably send it to that one. And then what they will do is send you a PayPal. Once they've received your order, they will send you a PayPal invoice um, and you can pay by PayPal, which was really, really convenient for me. And then I just had to wait a couple of weeks for it to arrive, which was a killer. But I really like these pieces and most of them are quite affordable. So quite happy with that. And if you ever have any questions, please don't forget to leave them in the comments below or send me a DM over on Instagram or on Twitter or whatever. If you haven't yet subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe. It means so, so much to me and I will see you in Thursday's video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.